after we did our adjusting entries um, in chapter 15, um, now in chapter 16, we're going to create some financial statements. So 16.1, we're going to prepare an income statement. So our one learning objective is that you need to be able to prepare an income statement for a merchandising business organized as a corporation. So we have created an income statement before. The difference here is that we are creating one for a corporation. Um, it's going to be similar to what we did with a proprietorship, um, but obviously um, corporations are a little bit bigger. They do things a little differently, um, so um, it is going to be different. Um, they are also going to create a, a balance sheet, and then notice there it also says that a corporation is going to prepare a statement of stockholders' equity, and that is something new. Um, so here is what we created in chapter 15. We had that adjusted trial balance. And so um, now we're going to create that income statement from our, or not from our adjusted trial balance, but after we have created our adjusting trial balance. Okay, so we're going to look at different sections that we have in our income statement, and one of the first sections is our operating revenue section. Um, so operating revenue is revenue that's earned um, from its normal business operations. So whatever that business is, um, what they sell, the, let's say that they sell t-shirts, then selling their t-shirts, that revenue would be their operating revenue. Um, the amount of sales less sales discounts and sales returns and allowances is going to be called our net sales you should know that okay so here is what the top section looks like so remember three questions up at the top who what and when and then here's our operating revenue section we are going to include our sales minus our sales discount sales returns and allowances and that's going to give us our net sales. So here's our total sales here. We have our sales discount listed here. We have our sales returns and allowances. This number here is the total of our sales discount and sales returns and allowances. And then here we've subtracted those two numbers to get our net sales. Um, remember before from creating an income statement, um, the reason that we put numbers farther on the left or farther on the right is where we're at with our math. Remember, this is the final number. Final numbers are going to go over on the right column. Um, numbers that we have to do some math to them, they're going to go on the left-hand side. Okay, So farther in left, the more math we have to do. Okay, next section that we're going to have is the cost of merchandise sold. Um, so the original price of all merchandise sold during a fiscal period is called our cost of merchandise sold. Um, sometimes you might hear that called cost of goods sold or cost of sales. Same thing. Um, the operating revenue remaining after cost of merchandise sold has been deducted, that's going to be called our gross profit. So um, again, there's a couple other terms that could be used. Um, gross profit could be referred to as gross profit on sales. Okay, same thing. So here's our next section. Okay, up here was our operating revenue. Down here is our cost of merchandise sold. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at what was our merchandise inventory at the beginning of our fiscal period. So notice how it has that date, January 1st. Here's our inventory. Now, we've made purchases throughout our fiscal period. So the next part is we're going to put in what are our purchases. Well, our purchases are going to have contra accounts. Okay, so these are going to be our contra accounts. Um, just like we have up here with our sales discount, sales returns and allowances, we have purchases discount, purchases returns and allowances. Those are going to be subtracted from our purchases. Once we subtract those from our purchases, here is our net purchases. Now, if we think of that, here's what we started with with our inventory, but our net purchases were 252. We're going to add those two together to get our total cost of merchandise that we have available for sale. 
in. Then we're going to look at what was our ending inventory. So this is our inventory here, beginning, end. So we're saying at the end of the fiscal period, we have $102,000 worth of inventory. So we are going to subtract our cost of merchandise available minus our ending inventory. And that's going to give us the cost of merchandise that we've sold. Okay. And then our gross profit. Um, they skipped over there. So gross profit, we're going to take our net sales up here minus our cost of merchandise sold, and that's going to give us then our gross profit. Um, we've done a vertical analysis percentages. Remember, it, it labels it for us percentage of net sales. So all we're doing is the numbers over here on the right column, we're going to divide those by our net sales. Hence why this one is 100.0% is because we simply took the 626 number divided by the 626 number again to get 100.0. We want to make sure that we round to the nearest 0.1%. Okay. So this one here, we would have taken this number, our cost of merchandise sold, divided by our net sales to get 41.2. Um, so we've already looked at the, this part, so I don't know, I don't think we really need to spend time on that again. Um, okay, next thing is we have expenses. So expenses that are incurred by a business to run the business, those are called our operating expenses. So anything that we have to have, that we have to pay for to make the business run. Um, the operating revenue remaining after the cost of merchandise sold and operating expenses have been deducted. That's going to be our income from operations, which also could be referred to as operating income. Okay, here is our operating expenses section. So this is a big section because we usually have quite a bit of expenses. So up here, we have going to put a heading, operating expenses. Um, and then we're going to list all of our expenses and how much those expenses are. And then we're simply going to put that line underneath and we're going to total up to figure out what our total operating expenses are. And after we do our total operating expenses, we're going to figure out our income from our operations. That's where we're going to take our gross profit minus our expenses. That then gives us our income from operations. Okay, hey, now we have this other section that's our other revenue. So this means that we didn't make the revenue from our um, business. It's our business, but like if I use that t-shirt shop again, it's not like we made money from selling t-shirts, but we still made revenue. And so that's why we have interest income here. Um, it's a way that we make money, but it's not for what the business is about. Okay. So we're going to put that interest income in there. Um, that's revenue. So we're going to add that. That's going to be then our net income before federal income tax. We're going to subtract what we had figured out for our federal income tax. And that's going to give us our net income after federal income tax. Again, these numbers here are going to be divided by the net sales. Um, 16.1 then audit your understanding. Um, I want you guys to look for these answers. It's important to know this. Okay. So number one, what is the major difference between the income statements for merchandising businesses and service businesses? The cost of merchandise sold is going to be the big difference. Um, because when we have a merchandising business, we have merchandise to sell, hence we're going to have that section in there. A service business does not have merchandise, they would not have this section. Number two, how is the cost of merchandise sold calculated? This you should look in the book to find that formula. Okay. 
we're going to take our beginning merchandise inventory. We're going to add to it purchases. That's going to give us then the total cost of merchandise available for sale. Then we're going to subtract from that the ending merchandise, and that will give us our cost of merchandise sold. Um, one thing I'm going to say in here, really, I think that this should say net purchases, because remember, we have those two contra accounts. We have purchases discount and purchases returns and allowances. Those are subtracted from purchases first before we add them to our merchandise inventory or our beginning merchandise inventory. Number three, why is interest income presented in a section other than operating revenue? Um, the interest that we earn on notes receivable is not a normal operating activity. Okay, so that's why it's called other revenue. It's making money through another way. Okay, um, you can go ahead and do 16-1 work together. Um, there is a video to go along with the 16-1 work.